Greetings, Dulles, and welcome to another video. Um, so, Vanquish Soul is already a TCG, uh, like, legal strategy for this weekend. Uh, Wild Survivors uh, just came out. Uh, it is now in the TCG. And a lot of people are experimenting with this deck, especially with the update of the Forbidden Unlimited list coming uh, very soon after this weekend. Um, one card that uh, came into mind that I uh, that showed up as I was sorting cards and looking for cards that were for the Vanquish Soul archetype uh, was a very very interesting card that I felt like had a place in this deck and like in the right hands it can catch many people off guard and may even win, win, win you an event the card i'm talking about is iron dragon tiamaton um so the card itself the description reads as follows cannot be normal summoner set uh must be special summoned by the following effect if three or more cards are in the same column quick effect you can special summon this card from your hand you can only use this effect uh, once per turn. If this card is special summoned, destroy all other cards in this card's column. Neither player can use the unused zones in this card's column. So what does that, that, that mean? Um, as long as there are three cards occupied in a column, it could be either you or your opponent, uh, this card basically becomes a hand trap uh, it becomes like a board clear for whatever's in this column. It becomes like a free sum. So, what are the advantages and disadvantages of this card uh, in Vanquish Soul? Why are we mentioning this card specifically? Well, for starters, it's a dark level four monster, which is really, which is really good for the Vanquish Soul deck because this deck relies heavily on the dark earth and fire attribute. And some of their best monsters uh, really uh, have a lot of advantage if you use the dark attribute uh, itself. Like cards like Dr. Madlove, Heavy Borgard, and the, and the Raisin, they all have, and the, and the Caesar Bailers are cards that uh, have interactions with your opponent if you have a dark monster in your hand. So Iron Dragon Tiamaton like, fits that rule. Now, Another thing about Iron Dragon is that it's level 4, which means it could help you make a rank 4 place in the Vanquish Soul deck, whether it be like uh, the ones I'm showing here right now, or other rank 4s that you wish to play in the archetype itself. Um, so, like as an extender, the card works just fine. Um, so why is specifically in Bankers Soul this card good besides those interactions that I mentioned? Um, the three uh, column condition is a, is a condition that is not really that hard to fulfill in the Bankers Soul deck. If you open like Stake Your Soul al alongside the Iron Dragon or you open Raisin, um, you can easily get to three cards in the same column. Um, uh, the cards being like the Rock the Vanquisher itself, a monster underneath the Rock the Vanquisher, and a spell a trap. Um, so, like, it's really easy to set up this card, and this card could be a blowout against like a couple of matchups. Like, uh, take note that the zone lock. Um, the this, the this, the the column lock involves also the extra monster zone. So, if you're playing against a link centric strategy like Mathmech, uh, and like for example, you can or Dragon Link, you can easily summon this card and like just lock out your opponent uh, from like uh, extending or doing their more optimal plays. Um, Another thing to take note of is that, you know, this card is also a disruption itself, so, like, you can just, whatever your opponent tries to do to play around your other Vanquish souls, like, for example, the Panthera and the Raisin involve uh, popping cards in a specific column, you can just use the Iron Dragon uh, to, like, 
handle whatever they cannot because your opponent is playing around it. And that really just makes it very awkward for your opponent to try to interact with your board unless they do something about like your established board itself. Um, but yeah, like uh, I, I just wanted to talk about this card very briefly. I feel like this card is going to be like in the right hands. This could be really, really welcome in a strategy like this one. I think that uh, people have to keep an eye on for Banquish Soul in general. I think this deck is going to like take a couple of events or might even take a couple spots in the uh, WCQ or may even win it um, depending on the trends that happen in the format and how they adapt to it. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I find, hope you guys find this very informative and if you have very good success in testing this, uh, feel free to let me know. Uh, until then, keep practicing and keep doing.